So you're thinking about moving to Denver, Colorado, or maybe more specifically, you think that being close to Denver, but in one of the suburbs around Denver is perfect for you. Well, today's your lucky day because today we are going through my favorite suburb of Denver, Colorado, and that is Arvada, Colorado. And we're gonna look at it from a 10,000 foot map view. We're gonna get into it right now. Hey, I'm Reed Puser, and my business partner Robin Gerlach and I get contacts from people like yourself every day looking to relocate here to the Denver metro area. We love receiving those calls and we'd love to receive your phone call or email. So whether you're moving next month or not till next year, please reach out to us. It takes a lot of planning and preparation to make your transaction go really smoothly and we want to be the ones to help you do that. All right, so you're thinking about moving to Arvada, Colorado, but maybe you visited here just a couple times or maybe you haven't been here at all. And uh, today I'm gonna take you through a map video of Arvada, Colorado, show you kind of where it's located, how you get there, what there is to do there, why people live here, and uh, a little bit more details about the town of Arvada. And we're gonna get into it right now. So as you can see, the first thing I like to do here is I like to zoom out and uh, kind of see where Arvada is located in reference to the greater Denver area. So as you can see right here, here's city center of Denver, Union Station, Lodo, all that kind of stuff. And here is kind of the city center of Arvada. So it's a Northwest suburb, but not too far away. Just about 20 minutes or so at the most drive from uh, Arvada to the city center of Denver. Or if you're working up in Boulder, it's up here. It's only another about 20 minutes drive to Boulder. So really amazing location. Um, very easy to get up into the mountains as well. If you're into the West, there's a number of different ways that we can get up into the mountains, which I'll share with you here towards the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned there and definitely stay tuned because I'm going to share my favorite restaurant in Old Town Arvada to eat near the end of this video. All right. So we went ahead and looked at where we're at in location uh, in relation to Denver, as well as to Boulder. How long does it take to get there? Like we said, just about, you know, a quick jaunt down I-70 right here and then down I-25 to get into the heart of Denver right here. There's also alternative routes that you can take to get into Denver if traffic is bad on I-25, which it can be sometimes. All these highways are running north-south through Arvada and Wheat Ridge. This first one right here is going to be Wadsworth Boulevard. It runs north-south. You can all easily take that south all the way to 6th Avenue, take 6th Avenue into Denver. But you can also take a Sheridan Boulevard right here, which goes down south into, uh, into Denver and very easy over to the main uh, main part of the city, as well as Federal Boulevard, which is right here. So really great access, a lot of ways to get places here. If you're going up to Boulder from Arvada, very easy to take Wadsworth Boulevard all the way up to Highway 36 here in Broomfield, up on 36, you're in Boulder in no time. Another way that you can do it is to actually take Highway 72 West over to Highway 93, which runs between Boulder, Arvada, and Golden down here. That runs right along the front range of the mountains and looks towards the foothills. Really beautiful way to, to your uh, job in the morning if that's where you're working from. So now that you know where Arvada is generally located, let's talk a little bit more about uh, Arvada itself and some of the neighborhoods in there. So Arvada makes up about 40 square miles and uh, population is just over 120,000 people. So it's, you know, not very dense and it has a lot of space to spread out. Definitely a lot of places where you can find some great privacy. So generally when we're looking at the borders of Arvada, we're gonna look at, uh, this is Wadsworth Boulevard right here, 121. So right over to about Sheridan, which is this next one, which is Highway 95. And then going to the west on I-70 all the way over to generally about Ward Road or Indiana. Ward Road is 72 right here. And then going north all the way up until just about uh, Stanley Lake right here. So this would be our general boundaries of Arvada. And uh, like I said, um, you know, not very uh, dense and uh, certainly um, some areas where you can spread out and catch a good view and enjoy some privacy. So let's get into some specific neighborhoods of Arvada as well. In general, you know, in the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s, the majority of the building was kind of limited to over here in this section of Arvada. You'll see a lot of homes, uh, whether it's ranches, tri-levels or two stories that were built in that kind of general time uh, era around this uh, part of town. You'll also see here in Northwest Arvada, Allendale, 
Arvada Plaza, and then down here into Old Town Arvada, a lot of homes built in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And some of these are really beautiful mid-century modern homes, and a lot of them have been uh, renovated recently. Even some kept their uh, original charm. So a lot of people really like those neighborhoods to live in because they do like a more uh, historic home that has some time to it. That being said, there's also a lot of new build construction in the Arvada area, and most of that has been relegated to uh, the northern part of Arvada, as well as the western part of Arvada. So if you look right here, this village of five parks, these are some really beautiful two-story homes for the most part that were built, um, you know, around say 2000 to 2007. Uh, there's actually five parks in this community, which is really cool. There's a local school right within the community. So really great place for families, uh, those people that want to uh, have, you know, really easy access to their schools and a uh, really wonderful neighborhood for the kids to grow up in. Um, you'll notice right here as we go west, this Leiden area, that, that is a more of a new build community. They've been built there, I'd say anywhere between, um, you know, really 2010 to current. Um, some wonderful two-story modern homes, great finishes, some uh, excellent views up towards the foothills here from uh, this neighborhood. So that's a good one too. And then also looking up here towards what's called Candela's. You can see right here, Candela's Parkway runs through here. This is also some new construction and uh, they did a really good job of making this community very livable and uh, a lot of services right there. There's a King Supers here, um, really, really nice King Supers in there. There's also a really nice food hall out here. And uh, once again, you get some space and some great views of the uh, foothills there. Um, getting into some other neighborhoods of Arvada, uh, as you go down south from that Leiden Rock area, you get into Quaker Acres right here. Um, if you are into getting a place that has maybe an acre or two and you want some more space, uh, and you don't mind that the home is a little bit more, uh, uh, has some more age to it, built in the 50s and 60s, there are some awesome places right here in Quaker Acres. If you go further south a little bit more, this is uh, Westwood's Golf Course Community. These are some wonderful homes that were built, say around 2000-ish. Uh, and uh, two stories, tree-lined streets. Um, there's some ranches there as well, some patio homes if you're looking for low maintenance. And it's also a really great community for, uh, for those that have kids and uh, enjoy um, having uh, other kids around. All right, and then as we get into um, kind of this uh, southern part of Arvada, uh, we're kind of getting into more of the border between Arvada and Golden. You can see right here, ta uh, Table Mountain is uh, located right here. This has some amazing trails, biking, hiking, sightseeing, all of that kind of stuff. Um, here out there by uh, Westwoods that we discussed, there's some trails around these lakes, which are really beautiful as well. Um, and then we kind of get into uh, a little bit more of the more historic district of the town. And this Allendale area has a lot of mid-century modern ranches. Um, Scenic Heights, same thing. Uh, they have a lot of mid-century modern ranches and they also have beautiful views out uh, of the uh, Front Range and then even down to Pikes Peak. You can see Pikes Peak in Colorado Springs from Majestic View Park right here, which is a really cool place. Um, and then we're kind of getting down into one of my favorite uh, parts of town, which is Old Town Arvada. So this is Old Town Arvada right here, um, generally about a five, six block radius of uh, a historic district of town, um, used to have a lot of businesses down there and that kind of stuff. It's gone through a huge period of revitalization. A lot of those historic buildings have been revitalized and turned into restaurants and bars. There's some really amazing fine dining down there. I'll tell you about my favorite at the end of this video, so stay tuned for fine dining in Old Town Arvada. But there's also some really amazing Mexican food, uh, food places, whether it's uh, Tio Cali. Another Mexican restaurant that I really like is called Fuzzy's Tacos down there. They have some amazing habanero hot sauce. Really easy to get down to Union Station from here as well. As you can see, when I bring up this layer right here of um, public transit, you can see that this G line right here is called the Gold Line. It runs from West Arvada all the way through Arvada into Berkeley neighborhood and down to Union Station. So you can actually hop on the light rail right here in Old Town Arvada and be down in Union Station within about 20 minutes without any traffic or anything like that whatsoever. So it's pretty cool. You can also uh, take the G line down Union Station and then hop onto the A line and take that out to the airport. And as you can see, our airport is pretty far out here. So a wonderful service that they brought to us with uh, RTD bringing in the light rail train and they call it the train to the plane. So 
uh, that's really cool too. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you here is how many bike trails are in Arvada. So Arvada actually has uh, some of the most bike trails uh, of any community around the Denver metro area. And every single green little trail you see is a bike trail. One of my favorites is actually starts right here in Old Town Arvada. It's called the Ralston Creek Trail. And it runs all the way through Arvada, through Ralston Valley, out through Westwoods, out to these lakes out here, um, Blunt Reservoir, uh, and uh, has some really amazing views there by Tucker Lake as well. So um, that's a really cool bike ride that you can do. And you can actually connect to some trail systems from there to go down to Table Mountain and ride all around there too. So really great, uh, great riding um, around here. All right, the last thing I wanted to chat about is the terrain. So most people that move to Denver Metro do so because they want to be able to go up and recreate in the, in the mountains and such. So um, it's a really cool thing about Arvada is that it sits literally right at the front range of the mountains of the Rocky Mountains. So this is the first range of the Rocky Mountains that runs right through here. And here we are in Arvada. So a couple of really easy ways to get up to the mountains from here. You can easily go up Clear Creek Canyon here in Golden. This is a wonderful area where they've actually done a ton of improvement and added more trail systems, more crossings across the creek. There's some wonderful hiking, biking and uh, rock climbing in there and uh, it'll get you all the way up to some of the historic mining towns of um, you know uh, black hawk central city etc another really great way to get out of Colorado into the mountains is to go ahead and take uh, clear creek canyon and I'm going to show you that right now. So here we are in Arvada. This is Clear Creek Canyon uh, or Cole Creek Canyon. Excuse me. We just talked about Clear Creek a minute ago. So Cole Creek Canyon, um, you can easily head uh, up Highway 72. You get up here into the mountains really quickly and then you can all the way get all the way up to uh, what's called Nederland, which is actually up here. And there's a local ski area called Eldora close by. So biking, hiking, sightseeing, uh, you know, driving, all those kinds of things. It's uh, it's really easy to get up there and uh, have some amazing times. Another thing to note is uh, this, uh, where Highway 72 connects to 119 right here, uh, this is called the Peak to Peak Highway. So it runs between multiple uh, high mountain peaks and uh, it's a place where a lot of people love to go sightseeing in the fall, watch the leaves change on the aspen trees to yellow, uh, orange, and gold. And if you can believe it, the other thing that's great about living in Arvada is that it's home to actually 122 parks. So as you can see, all these little green spaces that you'll see throughout the map, those are all parks and public land. There's so much public land here. Uh, so no matter what it is that you like to do for recreation or whether you like to walk with your dog or your kids, uh, there's a park within walking distance of your new house in Arvada. All right. so. I told you that I had something special for you at the end of this video, and I'm going to come through with that. So where I am is in Old Town Arvada right here, and this is probably the best place to get food in Arvada. It definitely has the most restaurants and definitely some of the best restaurants in town for sure. Uh, but my favorite place for more fine dining, which is kind of rare around Arvada, you usually have to go more into Denver for that, is uh, this place right here, Stone Cellar Bistro. Be sure to check this place out if you come. As you can see, they don't uh, open for until the dinner. They open at 5 p.m. They have amazing, amazing dishes, some really amazing local foods as well. So if you're looking for an awesome date night in Arvada, don't miss Stone Cellar Bistro. I really hope that you enjoyed that tour of Arvada, Colorado. We covered a lot of space. We talked about neighborhoods. We talked about location. We talked about how to get around. We talked about how to get up into the mountains, what people like to do here. So if you found this helpful, please do give us a like and subscribe. And next time that you're thinking about moving to Colorado, make sure that you give us a call or send us an email. We'd be happy to help you out and make it a very smooth move.